Freezer is back. The most evil of them all is back in the Dragon Ball Super manga. And he's not just back like before. He's different and he trained. He has a new form with a black look with it called Black Freezer. And I'm not kidding, this is canon. All of what I'm saying is canon. We got a bit of spoilers for the next chapter. And everything that I'm saying and the info is from dps chronicles i will leave the links to him in the description he has the summary of this chapter i'm not gonna cover everything in it since well it comes out in a couple of days but like before we know that gas is back up and he's stronger than ever but that's not what i'm gonna focus on in this video it's gonna be about frieza and this is what the summary says that frieza arrives on planet real there he sees gas and just takes him out with one punch that pierces his stomach just then in there he collapses and at that point gas looks a bit older and stronger he doesn't stop there he goes to elik they have a little chat then he takes him out too here where it gets interesting he sees goku and vegeta he didn't know that they were there they start talking and they ask him how did you do that how did you take out gas in one attack when goku used master the ultra instinct and his perfect ultra instinct vegeta used ultra ego and they weren't a match he says that he found a planet where it has a different realm time there does it move like in this universe and when the oracle fish talked about the strongest in the universe he wasn't even in the universe at that time he says that he trained for 10 years in that realm and that realm is the hyperolic time chamber so frieza didn't just train he trained for 10 years back when he achieved golden frieza he didn't train for years he trained for a couple of months if i'm not mistaken or 40 days I'm, i can't remember but it wasn't years imagine frieza training for 10 years and having this power that he has now he's just on a different level than goku and vegeta are at this point he doesn't stop there he attacks them while goku in his new perfect ultra instinct and vegeta is in his ultra ego and he beats them both with one attack one sweep attack and that's it they fall at this point i'm just looking at it like frieza is now the strongest you can't say anything other than that with his new form with him training 10 years in the hyperolic time chamber while a couple of months made him get golden frieza he's on a level that we haven't seen till now he's stronger than ultra ego and he's stronger than ultra instinct as soon as goku and vegeta get a new form it just falls it's not as strong as it was first introduced now the puzzle is around Frieza and I'm excited since this opens a lot of doors one of them is Frieza wanting to become a god of destruction with his new power the other is Goku and Vegeta training to become stronger to reach Frieza's level and this level will make them way stronger than they have ever been but with this new form of his it's just not fair anymore like give my boy vegeta some time to shine ultra ego is just like super saiyan at this point you just get beaten down every time you use it like i don't know this is just exciting and disappointing i i can't choose between the two of them at the end of the chapter we says that the oracle fish wasn't talking about Frieza when she said the strongest in the universe he says maybe she would mean that a new warrior was just born who is the strongest in the universe they don't know to have the power to be the strongest in the universe the one who wished to become the strongest in one sweep attack is a power to be feared and i think and this is just my opinion we swim there because he didn't want anything to happen to vegeta and goku he doesn't say it but i think that's his intentions he doesn't want Frieza or he was afraid that Frieza would do something that's why he went there and I think Pierce caught glimpses of that glimpses of how far Frieza has reached and the ending of this chapter just says well we just opened a hundred doors for different types of stories and we're gonna explore one of them and we won't tell you which door we're exploring and I say to that go on I'm excited will they explore 
the side of Frieza, the side of this new warrior, the side of Vegeta visiting the Saiyans, or Goku training more, Vegeta training more, Pierce, this, with that, there's a lot of things that they can do, and I'm excited in seeing what they choose to explore, since they have many, many, many stories to tell. With this info that we got, I'm hopeful that one day we will see a new type of story, one that dives into a part of Frieza which tries to become a god of destruction. And this also reminds me of another fan manga. In this fan manga, Frieza acquires a new angelic weapon which he tries to overthrow the Omni King with. Why is this connected to everything? Because Frieza, as they say, is the most evil of them all. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, Frieza will always be Frieza. Nothing can change that. Now give that evil power give him the time to train for 10 years what will you get well you will get this freeze with a new form freezer that is stronger than ultra instinct and is probably the strongest in the universe and at the same time there's probably someone else stronger but why is this important to know it's important because no matter how much goku struggled before no matter what he has gotten in these last chapters and in these last couple of years frieza just went beyond it and the thing is goku can't go into the hyperbolic time chamber for 10 years he's not an immortal if he ages that long he will just become an old man so he doesn't have that leverage like Frieza has so what does he need to do now in my opinion I think it's time that he trains with someone stronger than Whis and Beerus someone like the Daishinkan or the Omni King or someone who's on a different realm of power than Whis has been training under Whis since the start of Dragon Ball Super and Frieza was just revived went in trend for a bit and now he's stronger than him it doesn't make sense but it does at the same time that's what i hate about this it just shows goku needs more he needs more time he needs more training he needs more everything to become stronger and he needs Whis and someone stronger than him to do that and yeah frieza meets goku and vegeta a new frieza that surpasses everyone tell me what you all think the chapter will be out in a couple of days i'm gonna cover it i'm excited i'm excited in seeing all of this unfold thank you for watching leave your thoughts in the comments leave a like and i will see you on the next one bye bye